Hi, so my name is Kenneth Binney. I'm, I was asked to come and address a few questions and uh, some incredible information this morning and early afternoon and some personal uh, disclosures as well. So, so for me, I'll, I'll, I have to disclose then I'm a, on the spectrum of ADS. I have a previous diagnosis from post-secondary, first attempt at post-secondary uh, as well. So quality of life is something that's it's not static and it, it responds to life events. So I'm mainly referring to my adult life. Uh, growing up, obviously, I was affected, but uh, it, no diagnosis until the age of uh, 18, post-secondary attempt number one, and uh, 21, post-secondary attempt number three. And um, so obviously, um, those would be crises versus ongoing. So there are three, three instances of in intervention, I would say, for me, uh, two as a... 18 and 21, and, and uh, two and one recently uh, uh, in terms of needing some intervention outside from my own uh, efforts and other. So, so I'd just say overall, in terms of how, does, how have mental health issues affected my life, I would say uh, I could sum it up by saying, uh, observer and um, uh, I feel more like an observer in life than uh, a participant and uh, that's ongoing and uh, the comment when am I going to write the book has come up more than once from more than one person so that's uh, to describe that as well and delayed so in general I feel uh, delayed in life uh, <clears throat> so it's ongoing, but uh, in terms of uh, timing, I would say I feel delayed <laughs> in all aspects. Um, and in terms of, so these are, I would say, are neutral descriptions. And then risk taking, I would say, uh, in, in, is the best way to describe the difficulty in formulating and uh, implementing goals. So. It's always been an issue to come up with uh, career moves, uh, goals. Obviously, it's not impossible. And I've been in fully employed since, since the age of 22. But um, in terms of uh, coming up with uh, five-year plans and other, I, f I still find that difficult. <clears throat> so it's all, it's all of a spectrum, of course. You, it's an issue, but it's some, at some points it's more of an issue than others. So, in terms of real negatives uh, in quality to, quality of life, uh, social relationships um, involving family, other, and uh, uh, essentially, as a younger person interacting with adults versus peers, uh, and now of course at approaching fifty. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of adults for peers, so it's very challenging to deal with millennium bosses, uh, I can tell you. So, um, uh, belonging, so being, just being comfortable in my skin. Uh, I'm not saying it's not been possible, but uh, in the last uh, few years I fell off the wagon and uh, and that was the intervention to do with more more anxiety, uh, and uh, I'll get on with that in the third question. But um, so, and personal safety, well, that could be described as anxiety in terms of uh, level of comfort with any activity or other. So that's more or less a, a free ranging description of quality of life. Um, so, uh, what difference, if any, has treatment made? Well, 
I'd have to say it, it feels blind in some senses or unconscious because uh, I don't necessarily feel it in pers first hand, but in terms of uh, the my observations of others' reactions to me or other. Um, in the last nine months, I could say at my workplace, uh, I deal with three shifts of eight operators, and I just have a totally different relationship with them since uh, uh, essentially a year of treatment for anxiety. And uh, so that's uh, the key, really. And um, so res uh, restoration of my core competence. And I've been volunteering before falling off the wagon uh, recently. And uh, I had quite a, I'd been doing it for three years, dealing with various waves of immigrants and other. And uh, so reducing anger and negativity, uh, I, again, it's un, not necessarily totally visible to me, but I have a twin and uh, that's my key family contact and uh, she was at her wit's end in terms of uh, dealing with my uh, dependence on her as a crutch and uh, in terms of negativity and anger. But I wasn't necessarily aware of that until speaking to her relatively recently <laughs> and, and it wasn't really on my radar. But. I knew I wasn't happy, but that was uh, essentially. So all of these are positive outcomes of treatment. And uh, I'm able to return to my uh, recent saying, uh, having returned from India, do I really need to know? So I can apply that again, whereas uh, during the crisis I could not. And uh, return to, uh, I listen to my gut, I have choice and uh, I concentrate on function. I uh, can I return to that as well. And uh, so the final topic was uh, difficulties in career. How, how, how have mental health issues affected my career? So uh, again, it, there's a spectrum and it's not all crises and uh, other, but uh, I felt uh, uh, Again, the formulating and implementing goals is difficult, a challenge. Uh, anxiety, again, is, it's just an, an, always been an undercurrent in terms of study, exams, sensitivity to, sorry, <coughs> sensitivity to smells. If you're in an exam situation and somebody's wearing cologne, uh, basically blown more than a few exams that way, and um, uh, bridges. I've always felt my employment was related to uh, dealing with people who knew my function firsthand uh, by either firsthand knowledge or other. And uh, I had a recommendation by that to another employment situation. So I'm, I've always been sensitive to that, that I felt uh, there's always been this bridge. So it's either been demonstrated function or else somebody who I've probably is on the spectrum themselves who's hired me or has been an, a unique character in themselves. They seem to be more uh, amenable to employing people like me. Uh, and uh, environment is very important in terms of success in work. I, I say I had my last real job was uh, at Creo, 2005, uh, Kodak brought them out. So that's led to 10 years of uh, miscellaneous employment, but uh, not satisfying employment. And Employment is incredibly important in terms of uh, dealing with uh, that. Um, it's been described earlier this in the process today, and so I'm, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. But so 
I can relate very much to that, uh, the comments about environment and uh, other. So, uh, so that's it. I think I've uh, used my time, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you.